Welcome to Michael's Mailbox. Hey everyone, it's Joe and Michael from BullionNow.com.au. What are we doing? We are doing Michael's Mailbox. What's which, that? It's just when we uh, we skim read through the um, comments in YouTube and any of the longer responses that we need to give or if the similar question's been asked two, three, four, half a dozen times, then we just give a verbal answer on this YouTube video rather than actually typing them all out 50 times. Beautiful. So we'll whip through it fairly quickly today. So the um, the live stream that we did last Wednesday for the release of the Tiger. Mm. So a lot of love for the Tiger. Um, it was it's been really well responded to. Not so much the kangaroo. I'm noticing <laughs> kangaroo's getting a little bit of pushback. Um, so there's a few comments on here saying you know love the Tiger, love the you know the way they've designed it. I'm not so sure about the kangaroo with the, the, the typeset that they've used. Um, and the uh, the outback scene is more touristy. Here's a couple of the comments that have been made uh -huh. on that. So, yeah, a lot of comments with the, the love of the koala. Um, so, uh, coins A to Z. 22 koala is really terrific. It may, in fact, be my favorite koala design in many years. At this stage, it's certainly mine. Um, it's been a long time since I've thought that's a good koala design. But this again, that's because it reminds me, reminds you of yourself. <laughs> yes, very reminiscent. A mate. sleepy, lazy koala. <laughs> Not during the day at work. Oh, when I get the chance, I'll be back and tell you. I bet. Um, so yeah, Midnight Gardener, um, the twenty-two gold and platinum tigers are nothing short of stunning. I'd agree with that. They really are. Would go so far as to say this year's design is a leaps and bounds better over the previous two. Fair enough. Um, so yeah, again, just mostly those comments of loving the, uh, the Lunar Tiger. Not many people have said they don't like it, but yeah, that kangaroo design seems to be getting some pushback. Um, the kookaburra seems to be doing as well, uh, doing well as well. Some people are saying they, about the silver tiger. There are some people like, nah, not so much. They like the, they prefer the gold design to the silver. I, I, I absolutely do. I find the neck on the silver tiger a bit stretched. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Um. So, but yeah, I, I like the design. I like the family-friendly design they've put on it, where they've mm. got the, you know, I'm assuming it's mother and cub, but I actually haven't looked that closely. Um, but yeah, I just think it's good. Monday the 13th. Monday the 13th is release day for when you can start placing orders for the Lunar Tiger. Um, we should have the vast majority of our size stock in. I'm a little worried about the one ounce silvers that we may not have them until the Tuesday or the Wednesday because I still haven't received the dispatch notice and they take about a week to arrive. So that's the one that I'm a little concerned we won't get till either Tuesday or Wednesday, but everything else seems to be in place. But we'll still do a pre-order for those Absolutely. anyway. Absolutely. So. Absolutely. And look, yeah. if you're the only people that's really going to stop is those that say, I want to be on the doorstep on Monday morning and pick them up because that may be our problem. Mm. Um, but if you're ordering them to have them shipped out, bearing in mind it's locked down at the moment, um, if you're ordering it, it actually won't make any difference because we wouldn't ship them out till Tuesday anyway by the time we've received your payment at, and at processed best. it. Yeah. At best, yeah. So it shouldn't slow things down much at all. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, um, the Michael's Mailbox. So this is last week's Mailbox. So people, comments that they've put on there. Um, <laughs> the toe. I definitely recommend the use of the chainmail glove with the bigger knife privileges. Um, fair enough. <laughs> um, we had one comment, uh, and it's a good idea actually, can you put a link to, so like a time code to the next question. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll do that for this one. Yeah, sounds good. Um, that's pretty much it from the last one. We must have covered most things. Oh, good. So that's not bad. Oh, someone's doing their job. Um, <laughs> that's right. So the Series 3 teaser, there was a couple of comments on that of just... That's not fair. Can't wait to Wednesday to see the, the release. So, um, yeah, it was good. It was good to have it up there. It uh, meant we got a really good response on the on the live feed, the live stream. Speaking of... We have a live stream this Friday. Is that what you... Correct. Internet? Yes. So I was going to mention that when I apologised for the fact that we didn't have one last week, <laughs> which is coming in two or three <laughs> video comments. Fair time. enough. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of love for... And I won't comment too much on it. But a lot of love for um, Matt's interview of the culture of currency. Um, strongly recommend you go back and view that one if you get half a chance. Um, it was a really good interview and the guy there um, is incredibly, incredibly knowledgeable. 
So it was um, it was great to see. Um, we'll so, leave those comments maybe for Matt to answer himself. Yeah, Matt's responded to quite a lot of them. And like I said, it's just a, a lot of love really for Matt doing that and the fact that we should do more of them. So uh, we are endeavouring to do more. And we've actually teed up, I think, another one or two At least, yeah. interviews um, coming up in the not-too-distant future. So the no live stream one. This is one where I apologise for no live stream last Friday. The At the end of the day, we're a shop. Um, and operational requirements sometimes override the things that we'd rather be doing, like live stream. So, um, yeah, just uh, apologies for that in advance uh, that uh, we did that. I suppose it's not in advance. This is almost a week later. <laughs> so, um, yeah, a lot of people saying, bugger, you know, we're disappointed. Um, we were very disappointed too. Don't worry, it will be back this week. Uh, a couple of smart aleck comments like someone spilt the chocolate milkshake on the laptop. It wasn't a technical problem. It was a logistical problem getting things done and organised because if we, if we stop picking and packing for freight, People start complaining that they haven't received their parcels in a timely manner. So we pulled the pin on that one. Don't fret, we will be back this Friday. So Friday the 10th. 10th. Friday the 10th of September, 2.30pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. We will be back, we will do the live stream. Um, and we've got a, a special for this week organised. Yeah, we do. Mostly organised. Mostly. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that will be there and uh, we'll be firing on all cylinders. Excellent. Alrighty, um, the next video is um, the epic buybacking of the 10 ounce gold coins. Bit of Always a bit of pushback on these when people sell back large amounts. People seem to think it's a good idea to comment on why they sold back. Um, look, to be honest, I didn't ask why they sold them back in. It's just one of those things. Some people, the reason we all stack eventually is to sell. Whether you sell it yourself whether your kids sell it, whether your grandkids sell it, eventually it's going to be sold down the track. And it's not necessarily for a bad reason. It could be, I've stacked all this stuff away for saving up for the deposit of a house, and I'm now buying a house, so I'm selling my deposit to get the cash to put into that deposit. It could be that you've stored it up for future health reasons. You know, I'm stacking this up in case it, the rainy day and the rainy day has come, you know, I need it for X. Um, health reason, whatever reason, it doesn't matter, and I'm now liquidating it. So it doesn't necessarily need, mean, it doesn't necessarily need to be a negative, this person's got to, you know, they're going to regret it. Well, maybe, but maybe not. You know, you never know why. So, um, hi there from Texas. This is from Dude Scooter. Hi there from Texas, USA. I found this particular video searching for info on PAMPS, um, Statue of Liberty Bar, and how many were minted. Still on the, uh, still on the search for the info um, since I found and purchased one. The search continues. Still watching all in the meantime. Yeah. So he's just commenting we didn't have any in. So sorry about that, but uh, we don't stock all of them. Um, Utah, get me too. I'd say they sold them because the US dollar is looking like breaking down. Could have been. Don't know. Got no comment on that at all. Capital gains tax might hurt. Yes, it might. If they got stung with capital gains tax, that would hurt. Um, Diablo? Diablo? Don't know. Was there any tax documents involved in this transaction for the customer in the US? It would. Um, no, there's no specific tax documentation. We issue them with a, with a purchase order. Um, so if they want to lodge that with the, if they are required to lodge that with the tax department, then yes, that would be it. But no, it's not like we phone up the tax department or anything like that and say, look, this person sold X, Y, Z. We don't do that sort of thing in this country that I'm aware of at this stage. <laughs> um, from Anthony, uh, enjoyed the story of the Canadian mint wheelbarrow gold coin. I was just wondering if I rock up the bullion now with a wheelbarrow, would it look be a bad look? Yeah, it would be a bad look. Well, it depends. If you turn up with a wheelbarrow and a full, big of, water, cash. full of cash <laughs> yeah. and you're just changing one over for the other, <laughs> yeah. oh, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, Mark Wilkins, excellent leaving country money. It is, but that could be a reason. I remember, uh, Joe would remember this, 18 months, two years ago, we had a gentleman turn up with a PVC tube, about yay long, two caps on the end, and he had 
Previously, he'd sold all his property and he put it all into gold and buried it in the ground and then shot off to Vietnam to live for a couple of years just to see if he liked living in Vietnam. He'd then come back to Australia. He'd dug up his gold stash and he'd brought it into the shop here and basically uncapped it. And I don't know, do you remember, Jay? 200 oh, uh, ounces? Close to. Yeah. Yeah. It was a lot of one ounce bars mm -hmm. um, in this big tube. He just unloaded it all onto the counter. Um, and he wanted, literally, he wanted cash for it because he was leaving the country to go back to Vietnam. Mm -hmm. So it could very well be something along those sort of lines. Um, so God's money. Great deal, but saving for Perth Mint new releases. A lot of people are. We've seen a drop off in some sales because we know people are storing up for the Perth Mint relief release, which is when, Joe? Mm, Monday, 13th of September. That's the one. At what time, we don't exactly know. We're not no, going to say a time. Morning. We can't say a time because yeah. people will be, you know, hitting the uh, refresh button about a million times. So sometime in the morning. We did have someone comment, uh, you know, can you do it later on when people are home from work? But that's pushing a little bit too late in the day, I'd say. Look, to be honest, we have enough stack. Like, there's enough being sent to us by the Perth Mint that we will not sell out of anything in the first day with the possible exception of the one ounce platinum. <laughs> that's the one that I'm not liking. Well, that's a, that might be a video coming in the next few yeah. days. Yeah. yeah, so stand by on that one. That's the one that makes me nervous. Um, Peter Grace, me guide. In the early 90s, this is referring back to me selling the, the uh, $5 coins mm. back to the bank. Mm. In the early 90s, I sold a bicentennial $5 coin to pay for a pie. Uh, I had the same argument at, I won't mention the bank. I eventually got the cash and bought the pie. Um, it was a it was a pity the girl I was impressing was a vegetarian. Yeah, good on you. <laughs> um, Alan Russell, I had the same issue some years ago. I had bought a whole lot of $200 gold coins for way less than face value. When I took the first batch to the bank to test the water, the bank teller refused to take them. Once the bank manager had been called and verified that it was all good, they gave me the cash. <laughs> Looking back, what a fool I was. I took 14 of them at the bank to trade for paper money at $200 each. Ouch. Each one's worth about, I think it's about five, six hundred now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so about five hundred or so. Five to six hundred, so. Yeah. But what did you do with the two hundred dollars that you, that you, you purchased? That's yeah. the question at yeah. the end of the day. Yeah. Um, so, uh, silly thought, but I don't know. Legal tenant coin. Okay, this one's a bit of a read. So, this is from Dai Nguyen. Um, I have a silly thought, but I feel I need to bring it to your attention anyway. A legal tender coin. If it has some denomination stamped on it, then it is not the true owner um, of such a coin. It's the banks of the countries. Yeah, um, it can be demanded back. The, look, this argument goes around in circles, and I never know. Um, technically, it could be redeemed by the government. The only, in Australian context, and that's the only way I can really comment, the only coin that has, the only money that has been redeemed in Australia is the holy dollar and dump. All other legal tender currencies are legal tender. Yes, there have been some recalled because we've made an error on it, but they have never confiscated them. They have said, when they come, you can still spend them. When they come into the banking system, we'll remove them at that point. Um, and that still goes. If you, for whatever reason, if you handed over paper money um, and it goes to the bank, it will be removed from the system. It's still legal tender. We've actually still got some paper Australian notes here, uh, $20 notes, $100 notes, um, those types of things. And one day I'll hand them out, or every so often I'll hand them out as change. Um, they are still legal tender. So yes, you could say that they could be reclaimed by the government. We don't have a history of it in this country at all that I can verify that with. Why was the holy dollar and dump uh, recalled? Do you know the reason? I don't. I actually don't know the reason. There you go. We'll, we'll ask. We'll ask Matt. We'll ask Matt about that one. <laughs> cool. We'll get Matt to do a burst on it. Video idea. But every other Australian legal tender coin is still legal tender. So you can still spend a gold sovereign in Australia. It is still legal tender. Um, you'd be mad to do it because its face value, I think, is one dollar. But, you know, you can still legally do it if you really want. Mm -hmm. uh, the unboxing of the Type 1 2021 US Eagle. Uh, we got a little bit of pushback on that because I said, we're not stocking that one. 
we're not going to stock it. We'll never have it in. And so everyone went elsewhere and bought it. And uh, then we got some in. Um, I did stand on my digs on that one. I wasn't paying the premium that was required because, as I explained to many people, and I think I've mentioned this on video before, we would have had to have charged pretty much 100% over spot just to break even on it. And That's, I, so that would have been, what, 75 Yeah, it was 70 about 70, 70 bucks yeah, plus. Yeah. Um, and I wasn't prepared to take the hit on the reputation because we would have been accused of price gouging. Mm. Um, and a lot of people said, oh, look, I'll buy one at that. Yeah, well, that's great, but we actually make a loss if someone buys one coin. Mm -hmm. uh, we need people to buy a tube or a box or, you know, multiple coins for it to, to make sense for us. So um, I said we'd never stock it. Premiums have actually come back, thankfully. So we did pay over the odds, I'll admit that, but we still didn't pay an extortionate premium. So we could release them at kind of that roundabout $50 Australian mark which I know all the Americans are going to start squealing at me over because that's you know highway robbery when you compare it to what you're paying in the US. But in Australia, that's about what we pay for US Eagles is $50 Australian. Yep. And we could get it for that. We took a fairly serious hammering on the profit margin on it, but it did mean we could still get them in, so that was good. A lot of love for the design, um, both the Type 1 and the Type 2 design. Um, but yeah, like this coin here, Techno World. Beautiful coin. 54% premium over spot. I'm still getting some, but not as an investment, just for fun. And that seems to be a very common thread through that. Um, <laughs> MSKR111. You really do need to check your site at least twice a day. Um, they're flying out the door. I checked the site today, then went and got a coffee, came back and checked, and they were pretty much gone. <laughs> yeah, we had that problem a little bit. Isn't it um, amazing yeah. that even with that price point, they went in... Are they all gone now? No, I think they, they, I did a stage release on them. So oh. we've actually still got some left. Okay. But we put a thousand up uh, when we released the video. Yeah. And I think they went really, really I'll quick. I'll tell you straight away. All right. I'll give you a live... Type 1. <laughs> we have about 300 left. Okay. That is the... However many we got in. Wow. Um, and that's because we did that stage release. Yep. So, it just it just goes to show how popular the eagles are when they come in, and no matter what we do, you know we we have to pay a, a larger wholesale premium for something, and we we worry we go oh we have to we have yeah. to charge X, and then all of a sudden they just sell out anyway or close to yeah, it's even funny we were discussing it this morning how when we get a whole heap in, and something lasts on our website for two weeks, people go oh. Gee, it's not selling very well. <laughs> well. Actually, it's selling really well. We just managed to secure a really large chunk of them. Yeah. So we're able to keep topping up the the, uh, the release. So don't think that um, just because we actually managed to keep something on the web for more than an hour, that it's not selling. It just means we actually secured quite a lot of them, thankfully. Um, so, yeah, again, a lot of pushback over the premium, but it, it is what it is. Um, Do you have... Wednesday's live stream up there for the comments. Yeah, we, um, we did that. Or did we do that last week? No, I did that. Um, oh, right. I actually did. That was the first one. Why is there a comment on? No, the, I just meant like the. Well, so that was the first one we did the mm. live streaming of the tiger with the big party yeah. release. Oh, yeah. we did that one. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. That's just me snoozing behind the camera. <laughs> I thought what I was saying was riveting. Yeah, Joe. It was. What are you it, was to say? it was. Sorry. Now <laughs> um, yeah, somebody having a go at you. The Guam stacker. I think this is the second time Joe said it, but the obverse of the Silver Eagle is yep. the Walking Liberty and the reverse is the Eagle. Yep. I have to be honest, I'm as, I'm probably more at fault of this than Joe because I can never remember which way around it goes. Yeah, yeah. I will try to in future. I apologise. So, no, my bad too. Yeah, all good. Uh, the Tiger is coming. Though this was the advert on the pamphlets. Um, legend has it that the Perth... Mid <laughs> Ah, the, <laughs> I should have read this before I read this. You, can, you don't Ignition. have to read it. Legend has it the new Perth Mint Koala was inspired by Michael getting out of bed. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> ah, as, I was going to say, as we said in um, the Tiger, the, the release, the live video of the designs, we all like the Koala the most, I think. Or yeah. most of us. It's a, it's a good one with that font type and, yeah. and all that. Yeah. I want to see it in real life before I hang my hat on it. Mm. But um, I really like it. Um, 
So, Scarf Vagley, the Kookaburra is my favourite coin. Can't wait for the new ones in November. I'm, I'm looking forward to the Cook. Um, I don't, honestly, I don't think they'll ever beat the 2020 design. No I, way. I think that was the pick of the litter. That was the pinnacle. Yeah. Mm. I don't think it's, I don't think there's any way they can go up from there, in my humble opinion. Um, Anthony DiPietro. Um, hi, Michael and Joe. Can't wait for the Tiger release Monday. Joe, I think you should persuade Michael to dress... I've got to reread these. Persuade Michael to dress up like a tiger on Monday for the release. Well, that's been put out in the world now, hasn't it? <laughs> Great. Uh, yeah. Now, hang on. Uh, are costume shops open at the moment? They might be regionally. For click, well, they might be for click and collect. <laughs> yeah, they might be. You just can't collect. go in and try it on. I could go in and I could bring my, my kid's tiger costume in. Your kid... I'm not wearing it, mate. <laughs> I know I'm short, but I'm not that short. What about my tiger boxer shorts? No. <laughs> no. Thank you. Too much information. Oh, dear. dear. Yeah, here we go. Economy McGee, release them late in the day so people are home from work so they don't miss out. Don't stress, mate. Like I said, other than I'm getting really nervous about the platinum, um, the rest of them, we should... I will almost guarantee you we won't sell out in the, 20, the first 24 hours. I'll be very surprised if we do. We may need to do a little bit of back order, or like pre-order type stuff because um, of deliveries, but we've been given enough allocations that I'm not scared about all the others. Um, <laughs> Kane Friday. Uh, loves the posters. Wants to know if you can have them when we take them down. If we remember? Possibly. <laughs> um do you think the gold tigers this is from John Doe? Um, do you think the gold tigers will sell out fast? Um, I think the one ounce will sell out relatively quickly. By that I don't mean I don't think it'll sell out on the first day. I think you've got a week or two to position yourself for the one ounce tiger. All the others you should be able to get. Um, the two ounce, and I'm mentioning this because he says I want to save enough cash for the gold two ounce coin. The two ounce is the one that. Um, it's unlimited like all the others other than the one ounce. It's unlimited. But the two ounce and the ten ounce, they only produce in small batches and they only produce a batch every so often. So if the two ounce or the ten ounce is the one that you actually want, get them while you can. I won't guarantee that they'll produce them again. And sure, I do anticipate them producing the two and the ten ounce a couple of times throughout the, the 12 months. But... It may not be that we can get them again. Like, we'll, we'll get them this time. We actually have them arriving today, believe it or not. I think the 2 ounce and the 10 ounce will arrive today or tomorrow. Um, we will have them until this batch runs out. They will, I anticipate them making another batch, but they may not. But if they do produce another batch, I wouldn't guarantee they'll make a third batch. So if you're after the 2 ounce, get it sooner rather than later. Um, just want the tiger now. Patience, my dear boy, patience. Um, so, hyperspace holiday. So, next week they will be available to send out. Um, that is our understanding. Um, we have tracking numbers for everything bar the one ounce silver coins. Um, so, everything should be available as of the Monday. The one ounce silver may not be available for dispatch until the Tuesday or the Wednesday. But I will update you as soon as I get a tracking number, and I know. Um, Ah, Berlin, you've been around for a while, obviously. Do a spot special um, on the one-ounce coins. I presume they mean on the one-ounce silver. Yeah. Uh, thoughts? Here, well, in days gone by, we have done a very, very limited spot special. You know, X number, 20. I think the first year we did 20 yep. at spot. I think the second or third year we did 100. Yeah, maybe. I'm not committing to it. <laughs> it. It creates some issues. It creates us a lot of issues, yeah. both technically, website issues, Mainly those types of things, yeah. but also that it's not fair, I didn't get one. Um, and, mm. like, it, it's great. And so we'll release more. A, we get very few of the... Like, we get allocated very few of the one ounce anyway. And then B... We're it, taking a loss. <laughs> yeah, we're taking a massive loss. Yeah. Ten plus dollars. Per loss, coin, yeah. Per coin, yeah. Plus the picking fees and all that sort of stuff over and above it. And you start spreading that over a thousand coins, that's 10 grand plus that we've just lost on it. 
No comment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Um, Man or workforce. There are people already selling these on eBay. How did they get their hands on these release? They haven't got their hands on the release. Um, and I can guarantee you that unless... No, I, I'm not, I was going to no, say, no, no, unless no. someone's backdooring them out of the Perth Mint. I, I absolutely don't mean that. That's no. not happening and it wouldn't happen. What they are doing is pre-selling. Um, they're banking on the fact that they can actually um, make them hit the post, you know, in enough time like later on so you don't lodge a complaint with eBay to say, I haven't received them yet. Um, they, they will get them the same time we will uh, release them on the Monday. They'll start shipping them out from that point onwards. So they haven't got them in their hand. They're doing pre-sales. All right, last video up um, was the... Oh, the little coin shop one the boys did yesterday. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Um, it's 4.45... This is from AU79. 4.45 a.m. in Canada. Canada. I just got up. Um, thank goodness you guys are in Australia. I get the best thing to watch while sipping on my morning coffee. Mate, what are you doing up at 4.45 in the morning? That's too late for you. <laughs> You're normally no. up at 3... Maybe yeah, two. sometime between three and four is my normal yeah. time to get up. But that's, I will freely admit, I'm abnormal. Um, nobody should be up before 4 a.m. or before 5 a.m. in their right mind. Culture of Currency. The presentation boxes alone are awesome. They are. The designs they do on some of those presentation boxes are just schmick. That's the Culture of Currency. That's the Culture of Currency, the guy that we interviewed. There you go. Um, and he is incredibly knowledgeable. Uh... Mind your business. Oh, yeah, okay. Mind your business. Hey, guys. Love the little coin shop stuff. Got my Zodiac coin. Good stuff. We did... Um, if you got one off us, you're incredibly lucky because we only got allocated a few of them. They were red hot. I think they only produced... They were a five-ounce coloured coin. And they produced 388 of them. Random? Um, sorry? 388. 388. Random number. Well, the 88 is because it's... Asian culture. Oh, of so course. Right, the, right. I don't know why the 388. Yeah, yeah. But the 88 will be because of the Asian culture. Yeah. And probably the 300 is because 88 is too few a run to do on silver coins would be my guess. But mm. I'm only stabbing in the dark on that one. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if, you, if you're after that and you can find them, grab them because they're hen's teeth. You can't get them anywhere. Um, hey, guys. Love the video. Will LCS be getting in the 2022 Silver Tiger domed coin? Um, hasn't been released that I'm aware of yet. Uh, we're keeping our eyes on it. So I think that's a RAM coin. Um, uh, I wonder whether they will what they'll come up with come out with with the Christmas coin. Um, Perth Mint have actually produced a really interesting Christmas coin this year. Can't say too much because we're still under embargo. It's a Two ounce antique coin with a really interesting gold design in it. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's really interesting. Any more clues? Um, no, it's it's Christmassy, generically Christmassy. Yeah. Um, winter Wonderland type Christmas Christmassy. Yep. Um, I only saw it this morning. I I think I want to think on it for a bit, but I think I really like it. All right. So keep your eye out on that. It's a bit pricier because it's that two ounce proof type coin price, but. It's really nice. Hmm. Um, good vid. This is from Hambone. Good vid, guys. Um, the Perth Mint website mentions only a thousand of the three coin silver tiger proof set being issued, not two thousand. Good investment, Matt. Yeah. Um, um, this is where it starts getting a bit tricky when you start looking at production numbers. They're only producing a thousand of that set. They're producing 2,000 of some of the coins. So the proof coin, uh, sorry, the proof two ounce coin, they're only they're producing 2,000 of. There's only a thousand sets, and I don't honestly know what they're doing with the other thousand two ounce coins because, as far as I'm aware, you cannot buy the two ounce coin by itself. The only way you can get it is within the three coin set. So I don't know what they're going to do with the other thousand of them. I don't honestly know. Um, yeah, if you're after the two ounce proof at this stage, the three ounce set is the only way you can get it. It wouldn't shock me if somewhere down the track, Perth Mint don't produce some form of 
two ounce special series for the um, for the Lunar series and produce all the two ounce coins in one set. And if they're, I'm not saying they're doing this. Don't go phoning the Perth Mint, Perth Mint saying, "Ah, oh, Bully, you now said you were releasing this thing. Tell me when it's going to be released." I haven't said that. They're coming up with something, I would guess, and that's why they've reserved that extra production there. That's all I can go with. Um, uh, thanks for taking them out. That's pretty much it. So that's it for the feedback. And I'm starting to lose my voice by the sound of it. I need a drink. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Any questions we haven't covered that you think uh, we should have, just slot them in on the... Um, on the comments for this video and usually I go back to the last video and make comments on it the next time we do a Michael's mailbox um, but yeah put them in there and we'll either comment there or we'll do them in the um, in the next feedback next mailbox in a week's time lovely anything else yeah stand by Monday the 13th we will release uh, for ordering the uh, the tiger coin so look out for that place your orders um, for them it will either be an actual order or it will be a pre-order and like I said, it'll only be a pre-order for a day or two. Yep. Tiger Week is coming. Tiger Week is coming next week. Costumes and all. <laughs> Spot specials and all. Yeah. Not yet. Spot me in my boxer shorts and we'll hey. see. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, Friday. So Friday the 10th at 2.30 Australian, 2.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, we will do the live stream. So join in anywhere in the world. And we're going to try, I'm hoping we're going to try something different this time. Oh. So stand by. We'll, we'll lead you into it. Don't stress. Cool. All right. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, that's it from me. And from me too. We'll see you soon. See ya.